The Square Kilometre Array is a radio telescope. It's called the Square Kilometre Array because it's got an effective collecting area of one square kilometre. The telescope will be built in South Africa and Australia, and it's actually made up of lots of dishes, and these are spread over vast areas, and all of those dishes will produce an awful lot of data. It works out at about 160 gigabytes a second, and that's where GPUs come in. The SKA will be able to address uh, lots of different science cases. It will look at the cosmic dawn, so how did the first stars form, uh, how the galaxies evolve, so dark energy, dark matter. It will look at tests of Einstein's theory of general relativity, and that's something that we're particularly interested in, enabling the signal processing using GPUs for that. We want to detect in real time so we can tell other instruments, hey, there's something really interesting going on in that region of the sky, everyone look at that. And by doing that, we're able to do multi-wavelength analysis of an event as it happens. We've looked at using different programming language on different architectures, and we found that CUDA's particularly suited for the signal processing software that we're trying to develop. Some of the advancements that have been made in CUF have been really fantastic for us and allowed us to accelerate some of our signal processing. The new profiler looks fantastic and I'm looking forward to that flourishing and becoming something that we can truly use and gain far more insight into our codes. We found that we couldn't get the same performance using OpenCL on things like FPGA architectures as we can using CUDA on NVIDIA GPUs. We can get far greater performance.